Hey there folks, it's Scott once again and welcome to a pre-game video of Cowboys vs. Dolphins game. We're about less than 20 minutes from kickoff. So yeah, I just want to give my little final thoughts on the game. A lot of people or a lot of uh, uh, the sports casters and media are picking us to win this game by 20. So uh, i like to see that happen I, and it's possible it will. But here's the thing about trap games like this or an 0-2 team. They... Uh, they can be pretty desperate. They can always pull out unexpected surprises and and always make a uh, a dogfight or a game out of it in, in case you underestimate them. I like to think a majority of all the players or both sides of the ball, including special teams, will, will not underestimate the Dolphins, especially since now they signed our very own former first-round pick, Tarko Charlton. And from what I understood, he's been active for this game. I don't know if he'll start, but maybe he'll play here and there. So... So it's going to be interesting to see how that turns out. And also, um, Josh Rosen is, you know, starting against us since uh, they first said they were going to technically start Rosen. Then they said Fitzpatrick was going to start. Then on Thursday, they changed their minds and started Ro and said they were going to, the Dolphins said they were going to start Rosen instead. So there you go. So um, I like to, it'll, I like to believe it'll be like a 38-10 blowout, you know, if they're, if if all the people that are picking us, you know, all the sportscasters and Fox media, uh, the sports media groups are pretty much saying it's going to be a blowout. I'd like to think it will, but you never know. It could be like a 24-17 type game, you know. Because, uh, like I said, we're kind of injured up on there, you know. We're having a few new starters. We have Darian Thompson starting in the free safety spot. We're having Devin Smith probably taking over that number two role in the wide receiver since Michael Gallup's going to be out for a while. Um, the good the good news is we still have our line intact, and while we are missing a few players on the D line, we will be getting more of a Quinn back, and apparently uh, Tristan Hill will probably be seeing some action too. So hopefully he does well, and uh, we'll see a complete team victory. But um, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if this you know becomes a close game and we pull out within a touchdown, maybe maybe by 10, 20 points, maybe if we're lucky. So. Uh, Anywho, I don't know what to expect, but hopefully I'm expecting a victory and and we get to 3-0 and, and set the bar, set the tone, and uh, we'll keep winning from here on out if we can, you know, or if if the team is willing to. I, I like to think that's going to happen, but anyways, I think that's going to do it for me. I will definitely respond back with the post-game video, and I meant to also do some video reviews, but apparently had some trouble with my antenna, and I'm... Um, I will still be able to watch the game, but I was having problems and it prevented me from doing reviews. So for all you movie lovers that I and the movie fan of my, if you like my movie reviews, expect these two films to be next. Like I said before, so I'll be doing Roadhouse then Black Rain. So, well, hopefully this game goes the way it should and we come up with that dominating third W. And hopefully, I also want to see some turnovers in this game. That's what I want to see. I want to see some turnovers, some sacks. Because the Dolphins line isn't that good, and we should be able to wreck havoc. Maybe we might be a little rusty at first, but I have a feeling something will happen and we'll pull through. So, anyways, I'm expecting a W. By maybe I'm expecting anywhere between 10 and a 20 point victory, because you never know with these guys. So, there you go. Alright, I'll see you folks in another video, okay? Later.